I welcome you all to the second session of entrepreneurship and small scale business management. In the previous lecture, we discussed about who is an entrepreneur, what is entrepreneurship, what are the various elements of entrepreneurship, what are the basic characteristics of entrepreneurship. Today we will discuss a new term that is intrapreneurship. What is intrapreneurship? Intrapreneurship, as you can see, is becoming, becoming an entrepreneur on the job. That means you are doing a job and in the process of doing your job, you find something innovative, you develop the idea, communicate to it to your immediate reporting boss and that idea is being accepted and that new thing happens in your company. So that is entrepreneurship and you become an entrepreneur. So this helps in expansion of a business. So you, we basically what you, we, are, we are doing, we are putting new ideas into an existing business process. So that is, you can say, yeah, we can diversify, a business can diversify this by this way. A business can grow by this way. Okay. What keeps most people from becoming entrepreneurs? Like last, last, uh, in the last previous lecture, we have discussed that an entrepreneur's first element is innovation. Okay. No, you are having that innovative quality you are having that innovative idea but you may not be having the resources you might not be having the uh, risk taking ability when you become an entrepreneur what you do you leave the business and start your own job so how many of us can afford to do it by regular income aara tha chhod diya now अगर ये मटेरियलाइज नहीं किया तो क्या देन व्हाट सो दैट किप्स अवे पीपल फ्रॉम बिकमिंग अ रोड एंड दे कंटिन्यू डूइंग इट ओके बट इफ इन योर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन प्रोवाइड्स अपॉर्चुनिटी टू दैट पर्सन टू इट्स वर्कर्स और टू इट्स एम्प्लॉइज द फैसिलिटी टू utilize his or her innovative ideas in their existing business then entrepreneurship is on then those those person will not be termed as entrepreneur but they will be terms are termed as intrapreneur and the process is called intrapreneurship so like i said what keeps most people from becoming entrepreneurs funding you might not be having the relevant manpower resources okay i am having an idea but nobody is there to say bhai bahut acha idea hai aage badho so that is the lack of stock strong backing backing and fourthly branding suppose i am producing so i i am into a uh, i have started a business of say uh, garments so a new company producing garments how many customer will be ready to purchase my garments because the customer is paying the money the customer is not sure whether the quality is good or not so where does the customer gets the assurance from ang band karke khareed lena hai we say we become brand loyal so if we are becoming an entrepreneur intrapreneur rather under the umbrella of an existing company the whatever brand image of the company exists in the market we can take the benefit of it so this is the first thing lack of branding or marketing ability also keeps us away from becoming an entrepreneur and fear fear means the risk taking ability is either very low or very absolutely no risk taking capability 
Now let us see who is an entrepreneur, formal definition we can go through it. A person within a large corporation who takes direct responsibility for turning an idea into a profitable finished product through assertive risk taking and innovation. They are dreamers who do, those who take hands on responsibility for creating innovation of any kind within an organization. So entrepreneurs are also dreamers who do but under the guidance of a big organization. So I will give you some examples of entrepreneurship in India. The first one is you must have heard about Kinetic India. The Kinetic India was into the uh, two-wheeler segment. The, they used to produce two-wheelers. Now the innovation that, bro that they brought about within that segment is that a mobile charger in the bike. So that is an innovation. The bike was existing. So whatever innovation is there, whoever, ha who whoever had uh, initiated their innovation that sold under the brand name of Kinetic India. All of you must have heard about e-chopal. What is e-chopal? We know, we know that the any, any type of farm produce when it finally reaches to the retailers, to the customers, there is a supply chain and the longer the supply chain, the uh, price gets higher and higher and higher. So ultimately the price at which the product is being sold is not at par with the price at which the farmer gets it. So ITC what it did, one of its managers, Shiva Kumar, he suggested or he came up with an idea that why not get the farm produce of soya directly from the farmers, eliminating all the middlemen. In that way, the product, the finally when it reaches the customer, the price will be low and the farmers will be benefited. The farmers will also get a handsome reward against their sale, against their produce. So again that is an uh, intrapreneurial idea that came up with ITC, otherwise ITC is having so many things. Then Google is another big example. Initially what was Google? Google was a, only a search engine. Then if I do not know whether you had experienced these things that when we created our first account, not a Gmail account, but first uh, email account, the problem was that if your inbox, outbox, sent items, whatever is full up to after a uh, particular limit, uh, we stopped getting the emails. So we have to clear the, our inboxes and then only we, we could get the email. But Google, what it did, it was into a search engine sector. But what it did, it came into the uh, communication sector. And Gmail became the first email option by which we, we get connected with our fraternity without thinking of, of missing any thread of communication even if our inboxes are fit. So this is a new thing in, in an existing organization. So now today we, we cannot think of any email id at the which does not have at the red gmail.com. So Sony PlayStation is a very interesting example. Sony in Sony, Sony PlayStation one of the worker of Sony uh, he bought a video game for for his daughter. So when he is, you, you people know that Sony is into production of electronic goods. So when his daughter was playing with that video game, that video game was did not belong to Sony. It was for some other company. It's a Nintendo brand. So when his the doctor was playing, he noticed that the game was very interesting, but the sound quality of the game was not up to the mark. Means due to the 
bad sound quality uh, his daughter was losing interest from that video game otherwise the video game uh, was very informative for the child so then he decided why not because being an could uh, himself being an engineer of uh, the sony sony group of companies he said that why not uh, rectify this fault in the sound sound system so he approached with his idea in front of his ceo because anything as you know uh, if you do want to do something it will require support support in terms of uh, say facilities support in terms of money support in terms of marketing everything so when he approached his ceo his ceo initially uh, value did not uh, encouraged his uh, initially he encouraged his innovation that yes you do it but he did not allow him to do it in his in in sony itself he said that you work here you be an employee of sony but you can do it with nintendo so that the brand he is under that brand so that that was a very uh, big decision because being a employee of one company and doing a work for another company how many do it but he he agreed to it so the kutaragi that person worked with nintendo to develop a, a cd rom based nintendo when kutaragi came up with this innovative idea and it appeared to be successful the nintendo other employees of the nintendo did not support him they found they felt there is a threat a kind of threat in front of them so seeing this behavior seeing this feeling this this behavior among the nintendo employees nintendo decided not to go forward with it so now kutaragi has developed the sony uh, its own gaming system with a good sound quality so kutaragi then came back with the same idea and to sony now when sony accepted it and rest is history it became the the first play, playstation made sony a major player in the games market so kutaragi was an entrepreneur entrepreneur he was working under the banner of sony and did something new so there are many more examples sensor technology called they, they developed a tool called the uh, solution blue, uh, blueprint which has automated the software engineering process then texas instruments a single chip solution for ultra low cost handsets then intel intel you all have heard about intel anil Par- paranjape was an entrepreneur entrepreneur he built a retail automation project that neighborhood kirana stores uh, could use to complete compete with large retail retailers intel launched this as the pilot project installing the point of sale service sell device at small retail outlets in mumbai then infosys infosys started with a mobile value added service firm incorporated within infosys technologies limited okay then connect m m junction you can go through all these things uh, all these things get get your own information from the internet uh, do a deep study and understand this now what is the basic difference between the between an in, intrapreneur and an interpreneur it is not an entrepreneur intrapreneur and an interpreneur so who is an entrepreneur entrepreneur is one who sets up maintains and assumes the financial risks of an internet business venture only the internet business venture but who is an intrapreneur it ha- entrepreneur has exper- entrepreneurial skills blended with managerial skills but operate within the confines of an organization so entrepreneur operates within the confines of the organization has uh a uh, innovative skills and has the managerial skills to implement that innovation his idea okay but in in 
intrapreneur is related to internet business only intrapreneur may be any business intrapreneur is a, uh, related to only the internet business venture and uh, entrepreneur has the ability to take the financial risk entrepreneur has the, all the managerial skills the advantages of an entrepreneur over an entrepreneur rather advantages of what is the under advantages the entrepreneur funding an entrepreneur has to fund the project uh, project himself here the company may fund the project manpower already having a series of uh, uh, manpower of the required skill which can who can be used to to formalize this uh, innovative whatever in a new idea the entrepreneur has generated and branding because on the, the the like sony playstation the the entrepreneur is working or is uh, taking up new uh, bring about new product under the brand of a big company so by branding 50 percent of the market share may come up so the cost of advertisement becomes low